Hello there, I'm in Mushroom. This is Mushroom Games, and I've done some gathering, and mob spawns are on, and withers are spawning where they're meant to. But I don't want things to spawn around our tree islands, I just want them to spawn out on the wither patch. And so I'm going to take some advice I've seen, that apparently mobs either don't spawn or don't spawn as much on slabs. I don't know if this is accurate, but uh, I'll trust it just because I want it to be true. And because quartz slabs are better to walk on anyway. And so I'm just going to try for optimism and aim to either not have mob spawns quite so often in areas I don't want them, or just uh, have a better time not uh, slipping and sliding around and getting stuck on soul sand since I'm currently out of sprint and I don't need to be any slower than I already am. Hello. Okay, so let's uh, go for symmetry here. We will need some more quartz, probably, just because this is a pretty expensive construction to do. And let's uh, use some wool as our uh, scaffold material. Or maybe we just don't. I don't know. But yeah, we don't really need too much wool, but we can get it fairly easily. Later on, though, perhaps um, doing some banners would be cool. That would be a very interesting thing to do, actually. Cool idea, me. Very nice. Okay. So, I don't think things spawn too close to the player functionally, so we should be good with some full blocks in this little patch. We'll just have to block off the tree area. We don't need to worry about losing our trees because the center block that the tree spawns planted on replant rebuilds itself. Like, you can't actually delete it permanently. That's also how I suppose you could get enough netherrack to do actual construction with since neither of the generators offer it. And so... All in all, fairly good deal. Oh, and actually, it doesn't look like there's anybody nasty out here today. No, uh, hoglins, I think. Yeah, that, they're the disagreeable sort. And it's really important we get out here, because in the gathering I did, to get enough quartz for this, I, I basically just tossed in a bunch of gold and then went and mined until I ran out of sticks to make picks with. I got two more netherite gardening implements, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed, really. Oh, and uh, there's some more. Hey, Jerry. Jerry the gravel holder. How are you? Uh, and is it just me, or is it darker than it used to be? It feels like it's darker than it used to be. I don't know. That might be because uh, this is the first time I've played since 1.16.2 came out. And it might have made the nether darker. Maybe not, maybe so, I don't know. We just need to get sticks and then gather stuff with them. Uh, hello. Hello there. I'm sorry, I don't know. We have surplus leather, so I mean we might as well get some armor just so that we don't necessarily die immediately but we can't really craft weapons and I don't want to risk one of my netherite gardening implements I don't think I have enough health to ender pearl there and back reliably although if I could get feathers though after I got sticks I could get a bow for dispatching but I don't think I can get feathers hmm Alright. I really don't know what blocks in this pack have a purpose besides just building with. Because that is kind of important to it, just what can you do with the blocks you have access to, and I suppose just... Yes, I think I will build something is a fairly reliable concept in that case. Um, what else is there to be done? Ooh, we could, we could do that. Uh-huh. We need more wood. 
we can't get more wood. And so instead, we're just going to fear for our lives. Fantastic. And I'm going to place wool there because I know I'll just definitely fall into it. Hello. Alright, so, um, here's the deal. I, ne I now need to go back and... Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Ah. I seem to have been misinformed about slabs. There is a hoglin behind me. On my part of the bridge. Where he is uh, not supposed to be. Bye. Um. Um. In other news, Illumination, not the film company, just on this bridge, it is dark. That variety. Uh, I hope this works now because any more unexpected hoglins might cause me to have a heart attack. But anyway, the grand goal is now completed. We have wood. We need two wood, actually, because we need both a pickaxe and a, f a fire source. And this way I can do more of the pickaxe and still do a fire source. I, I, I don't know. I'm a bit incoherent today. I'm sorry. Um, regardless. Regardless. Um, let's see. Hello. Netherite gardening implements. How are you? Okay, so make your planks. Make your sticks. Very nice. And now, cook your netherite gardening tools. Actually, I could probably make a netherite picket unless I want to save up for weapons. That would be an item of contention because it might be more efficient to make it into a pick right away so that I can fuel my, uh, this generator and get it more reliable. Yes, that would be advantageous. Yes, yes, let's do that. Let's have that be what we do today. Let's actually succeed in something amazing. Okay, so what do we need? What do we need? We need cauldron. We need magma blocks. We have that, and we need crying obsidian. We can make magma blocks. That's pretty cool. Huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's not listed because it's not official. It's one of the little finicky things. Hello, netherite pickaxe. Very kind of you. Alright, and now we need to craft the cauldron that is actually the bars, not the blocks, like it said in one version of the post. But other than that, this is going amazing. Okay, so. So, now we can get blocks. Okay. Oops. I broke it. Oh, there's redstone. There's more redstone. And there's even more! Oh, and as stated, now that we have netherite pick, which we need to mine this because we can't get diamonds, we can get achievements, and we've already gotten one more uh, potential piece of netherite, which I like. Oh, and uh, there's another, I think. Uh, ooh, very nice. Very nice indeed, thank you very much. Pick that up. And also, if we care to, we could probably just do some construction with the ancient debris later on, because you don't need more, um, what? You don't need more netherite indefinitely, and it looks pretty cool just in use. Um, I'll have to reformat this uh, construction area a bit, just this build, because I don't want to mine through the back. So maybe at some point we put in like a netherite scrap or block cap in the back so I don't mine through it, because it can outlast my pick, or maybe we just make a long... Uh, Quartz hallway of some variety. That might be cool. Um, and the fuel duration, I don't know how long it's gonna be, but I'm thinking I just mine until it runs out, because I have another right pickaxe. Thank you. Can we smelt this? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. I started smelting and then I got a buffer wheel and I was worried that my game was about to blow up. But it didn't, and that's pretty nice. Uh, Netherite scrap, what do we do with that? Hello? Um, we're out of flammable things. Uh -oh. <laughs> Wait, is wool flammable? Is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> that is good to know. 
So now we've unlocked a recipe. Okay, what's the recipe? How does it work? Uh, wh where do, where do you keep it? Where, where do you keep it? Hello. Um. Okay. Um. Well, let let's see. Okay, so that's how it works. It's not iron. It's just gold, and you need four, and you need four, and then you can get a bar. Okay, that makes sense. That's good. I like that. Um, that's a gold block. That's not a crafting table. <laughs> I'm not right in the head. Actually, I am. I just say that because I'm embarrassed about being s stupid sometimes. Like one does. Um. Anywho. We've, we've made netherite. We have netherite materials. And... In all reality, this has been wildly successful, far more so than I probably could have, should have dared hope at the beginning of the day today. Um, wait a minute. I don't have the recipe yet. And now we've armed ourselves with a sword and pickaxe. And even though we're just standing here in our little leather clothes, we have netherite. And I think that's a fairly fairly good reason to say that I hope you have the very best of days and I hope to see you again